look at this. We're dealing with a little bit of rain, a little bit of that warmth today. Believe it or not, we topped out in those 70s once again. So, yeah, there is no way we'll be talking about snow. This system will continue to move towards the east. And you'll notice if we zoom in just a little bit more, you're going to notice that everything that's trying to make its way into our area quickly dissolves. So, it doesn't stay true. Uh, true. And so, what that means for us is that we could potentially maybe just see a few drops here and there, but that's about it. We don't expect to see what we saw yesterday. In fact, speaking of yesterday, those official numbers are in. We managed to get nine hundredths of an inch of rain at the airport, so that now adds to our yearly total of 8.67 inches of rain, definitely putting us above 8.24. That's normal for this time of year. So, I know that we started off rather dry, but we quickly caught up in August, September, November, now in December. We're starting to get some of that rain as well. With tonight's potential precipitation, if it does land at the airport, it'll be way too late for us to grab those numbers, but we'll probably get that updated tomorrow morning. So again, if we do get anything, you won't see it until tomorrow at the airport. 69 degrees, your current temperature at the airport. We are looking at 51 degrees as your dew point temperature. Now that the temperature is starting to drop, our air temperature, our dew point temperature is staying rather constant. And so the closer those two are to each other, the more moisture content there now begins to see. Uh, I guess you'll begin to see in the atmosphere and for what that means for us is that if we are able to drop to 51 degrees then we'll potentially be starting to talk about fog in El Paso so we'll keep a very close eye on those two numbers it's going to be very interesting to see how this all pans out so tonight the only problem is that we are now talking about winds westerly winds right now that's 13 miles per hour rather breezy if we were to drop to that 51 degree dew point and if the wind sustained there is no fog for El Paso Paso, but if the winds subside, then definitely talking about fog for the Sun City and perhaps the Mesilla Valley. 72 degrees was your official high for today, 66 in Las Cruces, 70 in Juarez. And as for those official numbers, today it looks like we've managed to stay 12 degrees above average. We're supposed to be at 60, 72 is how we started off, 54 is how we started off this morning, and 51 is what we're forecasting tonight into tomorrow morning. Another mild a day for El Paso, 42 degrees in Las Cruces, 50 in Juarez. Now, as we look ahead, there is a possibility for some rain going into Wednesday. And as a matter of fact, what that means for us is that we could potentially be seeing another round of nice light drops coming down. According to this particular forecast model, it does show that we should stay on the drier side of things from now until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then on Tuesday, we stay absolutely dry. I don't really expect us to see any kind of moisture, but starting Wednesday, there is that possibility for some of that rain to make its way into the Sun City, which is why I've included that 10% chance of rain for Wednesday afternoon. So 71 degrees Tuesday, your forecast high, 65 on Wednesday. We'll drop to 63 on Thursday and then stay in those mid-60s, which would still be a quite above average for this time of year. Through the weekend, everything looks quite lovely. It's not until Monday of next week that we begin to see the next cold from move in. That'll drop us into the 50s and create those strong winds. I do want to give a big shout out to our brand new weather watcher, Barbara Hedrick. Thank you so much for allowing us to see this beautiful sunset in Donia Anna. And if you would like to be featured on KTSN 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email news at KTSM.com.